Help, help me. me. Why me? Why? Why God? I feel so alone. Why no? Me? No. No. Are you there? Help me. Why? Do you care? Baby. <laughs> Big Cruz, how you doing, hey, man? Nothing much, man. Nothing much. How y'all doing? Hey, blast how was your day at work, man? It was excellent. How, how was the kids? Oh, hey, they, they were, were good, wonderful. Man. Good. 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 Wonderful. I really appreciate y'all like always. Man. Anytime. Good, man. Yeah, Cruz, <laughs> always a pleasure, bro. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. Anytime, man. Yeah, don't jump off that step. No, no. Yeah, but be careful. <laughs> Thank you. Right, right. <laughs> okay. Kids, y'all have a good time. Okay. Big Cruz, get some rest, man. Yes, get some rest. I will. I will. All right, sweetheart. <laughs> you have a good night. Okay. Come on, princess. <laughs> Are you still having bad dreams of your late wife, Vanessa? Yes. Yes, I'm still having dreams about her. It started off good at first. We were just laughing and playing. Every time I close my eyes, I see her in that car, and, I, and I'm just thinking, like, if they just would have let me go, I could have saved her. If they just would have let me go for a little, I could have saved her. I could have saved her. <laughs> Should have been me. Instead of her. I would have been with her 
instead of this woman I'm with now. Tell me about your life weeks prior to knowing your new wife. I'm living alone right now, that's for sure. Hey, how you doing? Hi, Bruce. I made some muffins for you. More muffins. Thank you. Hey, Bruce. Hey, Bruce. Got something for you. Hello, Bruce. Would you like some of my pie? Romans chapter 15 verse number 4 declares this truth. It says, for whatsoever things were written aforetime was written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of scriptures might have hope. Amen. Hi. Welcome to Committed to Christ. Thank you. Oh, we're so glad you joined today. It's the best decision you could have made. Isn't that right, Bishop? Thank you. Thank you. You know, I really feel like I have made a good decision. You know, I've been back and forth, but I really feel welcome here. So I really was inspired by the ministry and by the word. So I look forward to that next step, going to the next level. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hi. Hi. I just wanted to stop and say welcome you to Committed to Christ. We're so happy to have you. And we're wow. so happy that you committed your life Thank to Christ you. today. I'm looking forward to coming back. I'm really liking what I... I want you to marry her. Hey, hi, my name is Bruce. What's your name? Kathy. Kathy, that's such a beautiful name. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I was sort of kind of checking you out. Uh, I noticed you were checking. Let's go. Woke up this morning. On my mind Trying to find time In this busy day To lay my eyes on you Girl Cause loving your town flies We just can't say bye You and I Look so good together sing come on bruce i can i can sing mm, i don't know well i don't have to prove anything to you you should let me hear you sing please lord i'm available to you 
my will I give to you. I'll do what you say, do use me, Lord, to show someone the way and enable me to say my storage is empty and I am available to you. Babe, where were you? Out. Out with some friends. What friends? Why? I mean, you don't know who they are anyways. Well, I called all around and no one knew where you were at. I asked you a simple question. Where were you? You know what, Bruce, look, I'm, I'm tired. I'm ready to go to sleep. I really am. So if you could please stop asking me all these questions, I would appreciate it. Why are you not answering the question? Look, Bruce, I told you, okay? And I can go out with whoever I want to go out with, when I want to go out, okay? So, to answer your question, I was out. And that's the point. You know, this is where we have a communication problem. Communication, my foot. Listen, as your husband, I'm supposed to protect you. But how can I protect you if I don't know where you're at? You know, Bruce, really? 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 I, I just told you I was tired. I'm tired. I'm ready to go to sleep, okay? Now, I told you I was out. We're friends. That's all you're getting from me, okay? Look, I'm going to sleep. Good night. Come on, baby. Come back, baby. Come on. Come on, baby. Please. Wake up, baby. No, baby. Wake up. Wake up. Come on. Come on. Wake up. Come on. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. No, no kissing. No? No, 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 no okay. kissing. You know what? I'm so sick and tired of you always trying to leave. Why are you hounding me? Why don't you just leave me alone? I'm not going nowhere. You might as well get used to it. Is this how you treated your first wife? You don't know nothing about my first wife. What? I know she's dead. Hell, if I was her, I want to be dead too. Listen. Listen? Listen to what? Let me tell you something. You're so weak. You're weak. You follow Jesus Christ Sunday after Sunday. While your business is failing, your first wife died, then you married me. Really? How lucky you are, right? And then to top that off, you're so slow and stupid you thought that I really wanted you. When really, Bruce, all I wanted was your money. The money is what I saw. 
I seen you get saved. I seen you starting to change. Bruce, Scott don't care nothing about me. Because if he did, he wouldn't allow me to get raped all those times, okay? He wouldn't allow my father to touch me all the times that he did. Shoot, he wouldn't even allow my boyfriend to beat me so bad that I could only see out of one of my eyes. And to top it off, the aunt that I really loved, the aunt that I cared about, the aunt that really cared about me, she died. Died of cancer. So tell me what kind of hero he is. That wasn't God's doing. Oh, yes, it was. It was his doing. Just like he allowed your first wife to die. And then you want me to take her place. <laughs> I'm not a mother, okay? And I'm not trying to be. Especially to your raggedy kids. Because, see, I know they don't like me. And trust me when I say this, I don't like them either. Another thing, Bruce? You're so stupid and you're so dumb because you believed all of my lies. You're foolish. Real foolish. Don't talk to me like that, Kathy. Look, what, what you gonna do, Bruce? Because you're not gonna hit me, so don't front like you are. Don't. Don't you. Don't you ever. Don't you ever disrespect my first wife, my kids, or me. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? I suggest you shut up and get your butt in the car. Come on. trying to hold back because I'm not really wanting to be in the next man's business. But you've been my guy for a long time. Since sixth grade, man. Miss Shenzer's class back over at Hawthorne. I ain't never seen you like this. I know it's her. Now, I know you might not want to hear this, man, but I'm going to have to say it because I ain't, I have been biting my tongue up to this point. I ain't biting it no more because you need to hear this, man. You my guy. She's not the one for you. I know you love her and you've been loyal and all that kind of stuff. I know you a cat that will go in the trenches with somebody. You've been in the trenches with me. Back when we was going against Man Man and them over at the palace. That cat hit me with them skates, man. And you got stabbed. You didn't cry or shed a tear. You knocked him out. You've been strong like that the whole time. You like Rambo. But since you've been with her, man, it's, it's been a different story. You haven't been yourself used to be vibrant, excited, you know, cool to be around. Now you've just been in a steady funk, man. I don't think she's the one for you, bro. You're going to have to let her go. Not only that, man, now I know you've seen some stuff. Some people try and block it out, but you can see you got 20-20 vision. You know what you saw. She's been tricking, man. Tricks off a kid. You a grown man. You deserve better than this, man. You deserve better than that. She's been doing a whole lot of cats, man. Even that cat, Brother Johnson. Oh, Brother Johnson. Yeah, yeah, that cat. I love you, brother, with the little, 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 that dude. She was with him, too. So, I just don't know how long you want to put up with this, man. You know, I'm going to stay until... No, I'm still till God tells me. I, I don't know. I I heard God, and and it's my duty as a husband to be there for her. She's changing. She she needs me to help her change. And and until God tells me to leave, or until God tells them to move, I, I I'm gonna stay. You shouldn't have to. You know, you know, man, that this ain't what God has for you. This can't be his best for you. Now, I can't challenge your God relationship because I know you've been a man of God as long as I've known you. 
But at the same time, you shouldn't have to put up with this, man. She's doing up other people. And even as much word as you know, man, this is the only instance in the Bible itself where the man can leave his wife. You got a way out, bro. That's the way of escape, man. I know it don't make sense to you. At all. It really don't make sense to me, but I know I heard God, so I, I don't know. I, I'm not moving, but... I, until God tells me to move, I, I, I'm not moving. You know, I love her. She needs me to, to stand in a gap for her. After all of this stuff, man, come on, dude. Even after all this stuff, God got a plan. I mean, he just wouldn't lead me astray for nothing. And I heard him. He told me to marry her. And if he said anything else, he'll tell me. I, that's, that's where I stand. If that's what you believe God is telling you, who am I to say different? Now, if it was me, I would have been gone. But I ain't you. You got to walk this walk out. I still don't think she's the one, man. Hey, man. You should have listened to Vanessa when she said that you should be a pastor. With all the word that you have and your commitment to the word of God and his principles, you should have been a pastor. But hey, it's your call. You got to write your own script. Nevertheless, Saturday, man, I'll be back for the Hall of Fame game. So have them wings ready and that ranch dressing. All right, boss, I'm out. You looking at my grass, son? It really does need to be cut. I'll cut it later, Mom. Son, that woman really has you worried, doesn't she? She does, Mom. son that you love your wife and normally I don't interfere as your mother I don't give unwanted advice but this time son I want to tell you something I know you're here from God and God led you to marry her and it's your responsibility to do everything you can to keep your vows until you hear otherwise this is hard, Mom. How do you continue to let someone cheat on you? And all you want to do is love them, and in return, they just push you away. I, I don't understand, why This is becoming a lot. Bruce, baby, when you said, I do, you didn't just say, I do, to a pretty woman or to a big waiting day. But you actually said, I do to God. I will. God holds you accountable to do all you can do to obey what he has given you to do. According to the word, because of the infidelity, you could have a way out. But it's so important that you remember what God said. And God is holding you accountable to do it. So make sure that you've done everything you can to walk in obedience to the will of God for your life. I love you, Ma. I love you too, son. That's my baby. You'll be okay. I always ask myself, what have I done so wrong that make my wives want to abandon me?
Is that what you think? That your first wife abandoned you? Yes, in a way. I never imagined life without her, at least until we got older. <sighs> she left me too soon. So tell me about your second wife, Kathy. How's that going? Kathy, oh, she's always trying to leave. Have to lock her up in the guest room just to keep her in the house. You know, I'm trying to get her off them drugs. And I can take her to the local rehab, but that's where all the drug dealers be. I just don't know. I just don't know. Somewhere to go? No, I was just checking on the kids. The kids? Yes, I was checking on the kids. So you know the kids are at my mama house until you get better. Why, why, why do you want to leave? I don't cheat on you. I don't beat on you. Because I don't, I don't deserve all of this, okay? I don't deserve you. Or I didn't ask for all of this. I, look, just this is this is way too much for me. Just I want to go. Just just let me go. Just let me go. I don't I don't want to be here anymore. I don't. I want to be free. Okay, free? I want to go. Yes, I want to be free. free. I am not free. Bruce, free. No, What's I am not you? free. You free? Look, Bruce. Look, I don't deserve you, and I don't deserve any of this. I just want to go. Okay, just let me go. Bruce, get off from me. Get off. Get Bruce. Get, uh, let me go. Come on. Oh. I love you. And I, no, no, I swear. God. Why doesn't she love me? What did I do that was so wrong? I don't understand. Maybe it's not you she's running away from. She fears you because you could be everything she's ever wanted. It doesn't make any sense. Lots of things we do doesn't make sense, but we do them anyway. Tell me more about your dream. It was late at night. I was driving and I was tired. I didn't have my seatbelt on. Everything happened so fast. I, 
I saw her not moving. She was just laying there. And the fire was getting bigger and bigger. All I seen was gasoline falling from the tanks. And I couldn't help her. It was my fault. I couldn't get to her in time. The car exploded with my wife in it. I couldn't do anything. It's not your fault. It's not your fault, Bruce. Now what am I supposed to do? I'm with a woman who doesn't even want to be with me. She on drugs and my kids can't stand her. I'm at a loss. I, I don't understand. God told me to marry her. And, and I'm not even sure if I heard God right. I didn't sign up for this. I don't know what to do. I don't understand, God. You told me to marry her. Why did you take my wife away again? I never said she was your wife. I told you to marry her, and that's it. Listen to me, Bruce, and you will learn something. You have a calling to pastor my people, but you keep running away from it. I have called you because you have a heart after me. I know what you can handle. What you have gone through with Kathy is what I go through with my people every day. Stop running. Go and bring my people back to me so they will learn from you on how to love me again. 
if you don't do this, I will give you another example. I can't do this. How can I be a pastor? I'm nothing like my first wife, Vanessa. She ain't had heart of a pastor. She taught me everything I knew about God. And I need her here. I need her. I can't do this without her. Bruce, you have to let her go. You have to let me go. It was so hard to come to you in your dreams because you were always having nightmares about me. So I'm here in your subconscious to tell you to be strong. I'm with God now and I'm happy and I want you to be happy too. Fulfill the purpose here on earth just as I have. How, how, how can I raise these kids by myself? The kids will be fine. I came to them in their dreams and they know I'm with God. Honey, don't get depressed. Don't blame yourself. It wasn't your fault. Sweetheart, I want you to marry again because you're a good man. If you were to marry again, the lady named Rachel in the church, I would be happy if you married her. She would take good care of you. She loves God. She would take great care of the kids. Are you sure? Absolutely. I'm not coming back. I'm not, but you be that pastor. You touch those lives. I'll be here rooting you on, and I love you. I love you too. Hey, I like to order a cappuccino. Hello. Hi. Don't you, don't you go to my church? Yes. You mind if I sit and join you? Sure. Thank you. Hey, my name is Bruce. What's your name? My name is Rachel. Nice to meet you, Rachel. Can I have everyone turn their Bibles to Hosea 1? And when you have it, say amen. 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 Today's message is going to be obedience with a purpose. What's going on? I thought this thing was over. I was so wrong. I, I feel like screaming out. Oh, maybe slamming doors. But when all that is over, I'll be where I was before. That will change nothing. That will change nothing. What should I do? Yes, I got problems. But I'm trying to please you. What's my solution? I want it off my mind. It's hard to praise you this time. If I'm going to scream, I might as well scream. Screaming out, don't what feels good to you? And now you're contemplating, deciding what to do. See, God is watching, yes, uh, He always is. Hey, man, that's my uh, But what about His? Uh, What's your conclusion? I hope you change your mind so you can.